Hey, I'm standing here with Nathan Fox. Nathan, hey. welcome to the Emerald City Comic Con. Thank you, thank you. First time. What do you think so far? I, I had a blast, man. It was laid back. It wasn't overly insane. People were nice. You're a little testy, but it was all good. I'm cranky. It was all good. I had a good time. It was nice. Awesome. And what, what brought you to the con? What was the deciding factor of, yes, this is what I want to do? Uh, well, I have always wanted to get to Seattle, and uh, it, this provided the opportunity, and a bunch of Cadence guys were here, and I just kind of hopped on the bandwagon and found my way here. Awesome. For those stupidly not familiar, can you tell the folks <laughs> a little bit of what you're famous for and known for, what you're working on now? Okay. Uh, well, I, I pretty much kind of got started with uh, a Batman Black and White and some fill-in stuff, and then DMZ. And things kind of picked up after some fill-in stuff for DMZ. And uh, then Pigeons from Hell is my first uh, solo book with Dark Horse, uh, which was amazing. And, uh, and then that just kind of led to Fluorescent Black and uh, some other side work. And uh, currently I'm finishing up Fluorescent Black, uh, which is going to be collected uh, at San Diego this year. Uh, along with a third part in Heavy Metal, and then uh, on to uh, Dogs of War for Scholastic, uh, which should be a pretty, a pretty cool war book, and uh, and just some uh, some more fillings. I think another DMZ is coming uh, this fall, and uh, hopefully another creepy short story. That sounds like quite a a load to, to try to handle. Well, it's also like five years worth of stuff. So. Well, I mean, I get that yeah, too. Yeah, but. yeah. It sounds like there's a lot of things in the works. How do you manage the time for all the projects? I'm sorry, I don't understand the question. <laughs> no, it 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 it's been a it's been a struggle, especially with like uh, freelance illustration stuff, which is pretty much my full-time job. But now is kind of kind of 50/50 with the comic stuff, and uh, you know, trying to tell some more stories a bit more as opposed to freelance editorial stuff. But uh, also doing like advertising and like Nike pitches and other stuff kind of floating around. So you know, it's it's been challenging. I mean, I came into comics a little sideways as like an editorial illustrator first. And and then you know, kind of starting all over, paying my dues. So it's you know, it's been a it's been a, a roller coaster to say the least. But it, you know, I mean, I get to draw images and tell stories all day, so it's pretty cool. Excellent. And how exactly did that happen? I mean, how do you go from like I want to be an artist to man, I love comics, editorial or, or otherwise? Uh, I've I've always kind of liked comics, but I never really grew up like especially superhero stuff. I never really read. Um, but um, you know, I was always kind of aware of them. And, uh, you know, I got to college uh, from my sheltered high school life and, you know, I started discovering everything. You know, I heard Tom Waits, saw Akira, and I was kind of hooked into this whole band of culture that was not my, my uh, Houston upbringing. You know, so, you know, a little, a little while away, you know, I just, I kind of, Disney wasn't going to be the right place. And, right. You know, so I just kind of stuck with illustration. And I, I went to school with uh, Mafood and Huddleston and uh, Paul Chatham and, and kind of their bookshelves were like my introduction and education for the most part. So I, you know, just got kind of addicted, saw them do it. Never really thought I could, and then uh, around grad school, about uh, you know like 2001, 2002, I just uh, you know I just kind of took a chance and started sending my stuff to Bob, and he looked at it and laughed and said, "This is awesome! I can't do a thing with it, <laughs> but keep sending it to me." You know, and I didn't know what I was doing at the time, so you know just like kind of doing what everybody else does, and kind of like the freelance illustration, you know, pounding the pavement and sure. keeping at it and like sending stuff, and then you know he. he he and uh, Idelson kind of gave me the break with the Batman Black and White. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. And, and now that you're sort of entrenched in the comics field, are there... Entrenched. Entrenched? Entrenched. I'm, I'm saying entrenched. I'm calling it Still out. It feels like I'm starting, man. No, no, you're entrenched, trust me. Yeah, okay. That's cool. uh, is, there, is there stuff that you're reading, sort of getting into comics from someone who wasn't really into comics? Yeah. Reading much when you were younger to now. Yeah, as well, a uh, well, Zodiac was my first introduction to the Marvel world. Uh, sorry to those who actually thought I knew what I was talking about, but um, you know, so like discovering like who heroes and villains really are, and you know, I'm 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 all forever be the student. So you know, I'm, I'm doing a lot of, of research and you know, finding a lot of European artists and and kind of really getting into trying to hone my narrative skills because I you know, I'm pretty slow. It took me forever to pick up a brush, and then I finally did it. And you know, just kind of discovering that all I was really doing was telling stories as opposed to like conceptual illustration. So, you know, I kind of catch on slow, but when I do, I get really, I get really into it. It's kind of like the characters and stuff. So, you sure. know, it's it's all the process. So, always Absolutely. looking, always searching. Yeah. And is there anything out there today that 
aside from your awesome work, that you find okay or close to as good? Or there's so much out there that is much, much more beyond me that I find okay. I, you know, I'm there's there's a wealth of contemporary things happening right now that's really amazing. Fair enough. Fair enough. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us. Oh, thanks for coming by. Uh, Appreciate it. Where the folks can check you out would be. Uh, FoxNathan.com and uh, original art and all that other good stuff at CadenceComicArt.com. Excellent.